Uh, good morning, everyone, uh, out there in Condi TV Facebook land. Uh, I'm David Gross uh, with my sidekick, Jeff Butler. And very exciting, we are today, the third day of the NBM Indie Show. And um, as you can see, the crowd's starting to come in. It's been a fantastic show. See the uh, Condi booth in the background here. Um, people are just starting to come in. We've had some, some great days. want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that uh, have happened at the show that are fairly unique. Uh, by the way, good morning, Jeff. How are you? Good morning, David. Doing good. Doing good. Good deal. Good deal. So hope everybody can hear it. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have someone looking at the camera and uh, seeing your comments, so I apologize for that. Um, behind me, um, right at the little Lucondi kiosk here, we are showing really for the first time the Reveal printer. So what the folks at Vivid Chemical have done is they've taken their technology and sort of rolled it into a printer. And this printer uses, of course, the Reveal technology. Uh, it uses a brand new ink technology called Reactive Colorant. Reactive is the kind of ink that is appropriate for um, cotton decorating. And I want to show you some of the results. So this product um, will, will essentially be a Reveal-only solution for three Reveal films. The first is the current Reveal S film, and you can see it. Um, we're no longer limited in any way. We can do photographs. Um, we can do subtle gradients. Uh, you name it. It's just a, it's just an awesome solution for white and light color shirts. It's single step self weeding, meaning that you just simply print and press. The second oh, reveal yeah. film yeah. will be the reveal W. In this film, when you when you print it, is only for white, so you'll get a white image, like a white image on a black shirt. The coming film uh, later this year for the reveal printer will be the reveal WC, and that's the holy grail. Um, that's what everybody is looking for. It's the film that when you print on it, you're going to do full color, photographic quality, uh, with white on a black shirt. So it does it all. And um, I can tell you that, that the competition out there for that kind of product really is DTG. Yep. And the Oki white color laser printers. And if it turns out to do everything that the folks at Vivid say it does. Um, it will be um, a DTG Oki killer. Um, and so one of the, the business axioms that I love to speak of is, is um, you want to be the ones, you want to obsolete yourself. In other words, you want to be the one pushing the technology, um, you, know, you know, obsoleting the horse and buggy, so to speak. And that's a, a lot of fun. Jeff, what has been your reaction to the folks seeing the printer? Uh, this is, uh, they're, they're blown away. And, and uh, this is something that may end up in my shop because I'm so impressed. This is, it's, an, it's amazing. I mean, look at this. We got full color on a light color. We got a nice black and white image. <clears throat> Isn't that something? And then the best thing of all we got Doug DeWitt on here yeah very scary very scary <laughs> I might add um, so uh, the yeah. guys have been doing a great job demoing it uh, as you can see people are starting to stack up it'll be, it'll be this way the whole day this this area will be flooded with with folks checking this technology out it's, yeah, it's, it's really Jim, good stuff Jim with uh, Viv Chemical behind us so again the magic of the reveal is there's no weeding step there there's no um, extra steps required you just simply print and press um, eventually there will be three films 
the Reveal S, which, which is on the market today, which is amazing, with uh, die sub printers. And that same film will work with this new Reveal Only oh, printer. Good morning, <laughs> Cheryl. How are you? Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. Um, those are folks from um, uh, Cheryl Kuchek, a uh, big fan of ours, a uh, great person. And then the uh, folks from Oki. Um, they're, they're great folks. So, um, um, you know, but if, if everything goes well, you know, I'm an engineer, uh, somewhat skeptical of pretty much everything, but this is certainly looking very promising. So, we will begin to sell the Reveal printer very soon. Um, in fact, we've already sold a few, sort of um, maybe a little bit before we were ready for it. So we got some work to do. Well, the um, people, once they see it, they, they, you know, the, they the two we it. sold, it, they were adamant they had to have them. Yeah. And so we scrambled and got got the yeah. part numbers together and everything, and they took them home. So the so. way the, the reveal will work on the dark shirts, you know, like a black shirt, is you will, very similar to the Oki, you'll use a rip to tell it where you want white. Um, and then... Um, when you print, there's a clear liquid um, in one of the, the channels of the printer. Actually, it's in two of the channels. And when that clear liquid gets on the film and then heat is applied, that section of the film turns white and will release the white onto the shirt. And so you can put white underneath. You can put white outside of where you have color. So you've got lots of options that you would exercise with the rip. Um, and, and, um, but the quality in, on white and light colored shirts is, is just amazing. I mean, we knew Reveal was good when we run it through the sublimation printers, but we were a little bit limited. We need to have enough ink down where it would activate. Um, and so with the Reveal only solution, suddenly things are dialed in, they're tuned, and you get a great, great result. So um, you should expect to see more information from us in the very near future regarding the Reveal Only printer. Um, Jeff, what else have you seen here at the show that's exciting? Uh, it's 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 been nonstop for us. It's uh, people are really enjoying looking at the new acrylic, the new glass. Uh, we have the new bottle openers out here. We have the pinch books, the memory books, the spiral notebooks, e everything. I mean, we've, we've had a real good show. It's, it's been solid. We love Indianapolis. Uh, the weather's been beautiful. Uh, crowd's been great. And uh, today we're on the home stretch. And I don't think we have anything left in the booth uh, to purchase, which is good. But uh, overall, it's been a fantastic show. Yeah, and the um, good news for those folks that are, are not able to go to the show, um, our show specials are good for everyone. So you don't have to attend the show to take advantage of it. And I believe all our show specials will extend through next week, yes, the end of next week. Yes, and that week. includes free shipping on an SG-800 or SG-400 print system. So definitely take advantage of that free right. shipping. A couple other industry happenings I think are interesting is for, we'll call them the mature sublimator, um, the new, well, the existing Sawgrass Muto VJ628. That's a 24-inch wide full bleed uh, roll printer, and the folks at Sawgrass have brought out a new ink set, which is um, called the Flex ink set. The Flex, to me, is, is sort of the kitchen sink. They essentially threw everything they had at, at that ink set. So the 628 has eight ink channels. And um, so in the first four, they put standard CMYK. Um, then they put um, a blue and an orange. And those allow you to do what we call extend the color gamut. You don't have to use them. You can still print with just CMYK. But if you use those extended um, gamut colors, blue and orange, 
you're able to paint the rainbow even better. Um, you can hit colors that are, are somewhat difficult to hit today. But anyway, you get, a, you get a larger color gamut. Then they throw um, uh, fluorescence in there. And so you have um, fluorescent pink and fluorescent yellow. And you can design with those in there as spot colors. They're not process colors, they're spot colors. And so suddenly you can, you can really jazz up your designs. Yep. Fluorescents are hot right now. They and and uh, make your stuff stand out, whether it be hard substrate or soft substrate. Those, those fluorescent colors that you can, you can work in your design. Now you, need, you have, to, have to work them in as, as far as spot colors. And that domain is, is um, we can teach you how to do it. That domain is the, the RIP domain of Wasatch. Wasatch Soft RIP is what puts it all together. Um, but by doing that, you add new life to your existing designs. Um, really create a lot of great value. So here the, um, the announcement coming over. And speaking of sawgrass, don't forget we have Jimmy Lamb in the booth uh, demoing the new sawgrass virtual print manager, which has is, is been a big hit as well. We've had big crowds, people checking that out, um, and it yeah, looks very Let's talk good. a little bit about that. So sawgrass <laughs> has been answering a question that I think is a, is a very important question, that is, I want to do sublimation. I certainly have some marketing sales ideas, but I don't really know Corel Draw. Um, there, there's no software that I really know. How can I get into sublimation? How can I be successful? And so their answer was Creative Studio. Creative Studio is a cloud-based designer, meaning it's not software that's on your computer. You access this designer from your internet browser. And the Creative Studio ha is Corel-like. It has Corel-like features with a very large clip art library. And Creative Studio is free with the purchase of a, of right. a Virtuoso printer. And so for folks that are just starting out, um, it's a great solution. Well, it's, it, it's easy because it has all our products in it, so you're simply taking the artwork, dropping it into the templates that are built into Creative Studio, yeah. and you're, you're up and running immediately. You get your printer set up. So when we get back, uh, for folks that maybe want to take a look at Creative Studio, I'm going to get Miss Bobby to put a link on our Facebook page where you can test drive Creative Studio. Um, you know, you get a little account. Um, it's a Condi account, so you just design with it, see what you think about it. Um, I asked the folks in tech support at Condi, I said, of new folks entering sublimation, how many of them are starting off with Creative Studio? And they said probably about 20%, which was amazing. I, I you know, I would have said it would have been, been a fair bit uh, smaller. And so that just goes to show there's a lot of folks that want to do sublimation, and Creative Studio is their their um, their first design choice. Yeah, it's, um, it's the fastest way to get up and running if you have limited experience in that realm. It is. So what Sawgrass has done is they've they've created the print system of Creative Studio called VPM or Virtual Print Manager. And Virtual Print Manager is now how you can print from a Virtuoso printer, Mac or PC, from normal applications like Corel, Silhouette, Photoshop, Illustrator. And so what they've done with, with uh, VPM is they've added some interesting RIP-like features um, to VPM. Now, you may not know what a RIP is, and we can go over that a little bit later, but essentially, a lot of folks will maybe want to take advantage of a piece of paper, you know, fill it up. And so with VPM, you can have multiple print jobs and push them all onto one page. Um, some people call it gang. 
Some people call it step and repeat. But it gives you all sorts of neat features. So, for instance, you're doing dog tags, you know, and you want to fill up the page with dog tags. Well, it allows you to do that. So these are all features that you could do, for instance, in Corel Draw. Um, but now, at the back end, at the print, you know, part of, of your Mac or PC, you have more control over those features. And so um, I think it's very interesting. Uh, it's features that we, we take for granted with a software rep like Wasatch. So those are things. Sawgrass has asked us to take our amazing color profiles and push them into VPM so that you can take advantage of the awesome color that you get from the Condi ICC profiles. And so we're working on that now with them. Um, and so, you know, again, it's one of those kinds of things. It's like Creative Studio. It's choices for folks like you um, to have in, in your sublimation business. So um, stay tuned uh, for more information. I did do a webinar, and I think I pushed the recording to Condi TV with Jimmy Lamb, I think, last week on, um, on talking about VPM. So, so check it out. Yep. What else comes to mind here at the show? Um, just a busy, busy show. We uh, <clears throat> also brought out the Technotape 3D oven. Uh, that was a big hit yesterday. We demoed it, um, and just a just a rock solid show. We've had a good time. Yeah, I'm trying to think of um, here at the show. Um, one of the benefits of the show, probably number one benefit, is to network with other people here at the show that can help you grow your business. I mean, um, you, you can't find a more reality check than to, to reach out your hand, shake somebody's hand, uh, get to meet them, and ask them what's working for them. It is, um, it is fun to watch them do that because they, they crowd in the booth, and while they may be waiting to talk to one of us, they'll talk to the the person next to them, and then they'll start talking, sharing ideas. I saw a lot of that yesterday. The the, the little young guy with the modified Epson and all that, and just ah, all yes. the different discussions that go on. And like you said, what's what's working for you? And uh, people are, are totally willing to share. It's like a little community kind of thing we have going on in there, and which is it's fantastic. So if you get an opportunity to come to one of these shows, definitely, definitely. Take advantage of that opportunity. So, number one opportunity at these shows is networking with some of your peers, learning from them. Number two opportunity is all the great classes. So, um, there's just an awesome number of classes. Um, people like the the digital art solutions, um, smart designer kind of folks, um, rhinestone the world. rhinestone world, TRW. Um, they rock. They are they, they are great awesome, great awesome people. Um, they're right down the hall here. Matt yeah, Ryanet here. Yep. Ryanet, another solid uh, screen printing, fantastic guys. Highly, highly recommend. Good partner of ours. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so you know, there's there's um, there's just a number of companies that that take the time and trouble, and it's a lot of work. Uh, Jeff and I did our class yesterday morning, and. Um, Probably had, I don't know, 200 Standing people. Room only. Yeah. yeah. A lot of folks there. Um, I've caught a cold, so I was a little bit under the weather, did my best. Um, but if you took our class, you know, you walked away with a $25 gift certificate. Yep. <laughs> and um, what's well, the um, least we could do for them for making yeah. them sit through our yeah, an hour it. and a half of us? So. And then we gave away three big prizes, with the number one being an SG400. So uh, certainly worth a little bit of their attention and um, I'll go sit in on a competitor's class you know see what I can learn so um, I I love learning and, and at these shows um, I'm, I'm learning a lot um, you know people ask can you do this or how do I do this um, but I think um, the third or better yet they bring they come to us and say this is how we yep. do this and then that's then we're learning so third favorite thing at these shows um, is, especially for folks that are new to sublimation or, you know, whatever, is the Condi kiosk. 
So you probably can't see it very well, but the other end of our booth here, um, I have an SG400 set up and um, using your smartphone, you log into our Wi-Fi and you can send us a the, you know a photo and we'll print it for you and put it on a product. And I think many folks starting out that you know they go they look at the neat stuff we're doing and they say you know what's the catch you know I, I, I'm sure there's a catch so with the kiosk um, we're gonna print your photograph we're gonna put it on a coaster a phone stand bag, bag tag um, and we brought in the um, sandstone car coasters mm -hmm. which are one of my favorite products big hit so, so, you know, you get to see it there. And the funny part is that um, we hire two temps that are local folks here, usually young folks, and they've never seen this before. Uh, I, I suspect if you tried to get them to learn to spell the word sublimation, right. they probably couldn't. And um, at the Nashville show, after we shot our live episode there, um, as typically happens, uh, one of the temps said, sign me up. Um, Took you know, a system home. I, I want. I want a system. I got some great ideas on on what I can do with these. Which, like you said, it's not uncommon. It, it's that's not the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. But that's it, cool. It, and also, it's a lot of fun to see somebody we see at these shows. There, it's a vendor like us, and um, after all these years, they've got their own sublimation system. Yep. <laughs> and they come over and they say, you know, uh, what's new? What new products have you got for me? Because, um, you know, um, I have a bad case of ADD. Um, I want something new. I want it now. So it is always a hoot to, um, to rub elbows with, with some of the same folks that we right. see show after show and talk about what's going on with their business. Um, so the kiosk is, is just, I mean, to, to see the look on people's faces um, is just amazing. So we ought to probably just try to haul the camera down there and um, and just, just show you. They're still coming in this morning. Um, so what we'll probably do is um, break from our live feed and we'll come back in a little bit with um, something going on there. So I hope we, this has been helpful to you this morning. Um, we're glad you joined us and um, have, have a super rest of the weekend.